Just Imagine with Barney, written by Mary Schrode, illustrated by Mary Grace Eubank. Are you ready? Here we go. And the story concept is by Richard Leach, father-in-law of Barney creator, Cheryl Leach. Plop. A big wet tear splashed onto the soft purple head of Barney, the toy dinosaur. Five-year-old Lori was crying as she hugged her very best friend. She was sad because her family was moving tomorrow from their farm in Meadowville to a big city called Oakdale. Oh, poor Lori. Just before bedtime, Lori and her mom would always swing together. Tonight, while Lori waited for her mom, she tried to think happy thoughts of all the fun she and Barney shared on the farm. They milked the cows and fed the pigs. They rode the tractor with Lori's dad and they helped Lori's mom gather eggs. They even played hide and seek in the meadow with the sheep. Oh, that does sound like a lot of fun. Oh, Barney, I don't want to move, Lori cried. I want to stay here with my favorite friends and favorite things. I don't know if I'll have, e if I'll have fun at my new home, I wish I knew what Oakdale will be like. She wiped her wet eyes. I wish you could help me, Barney. Before Lori could cry even one more tear, the air around her filled with sparkling stardust and dancing magical colors. And her Barney doll was gone. <laughs> Here I am, Lori said a deep, happy voice. Lori's eyes popped wide open. Standing next to her was a giant purple dinosaur with bright green spots and a, a long tail and the biggest smile Lori had ever seen. Barney, it's really you, Lori shouted happily. <laughs> yep, it's me, laughed Barney. You were so sad you needed a, and lonely you needed a real friend, said Barney. And you loved me so much your, that your love made me real. <laughs> Lori put her little arms as far as she could around Barney's big soft body and held him tight. Barney... I'm scared, I'm sad because we're moving. I'll be going to a new school and I'm kind of scared. Barney gave Lori a big warm hug. Aww, he said gently. Everything will be all right. Everybody gets a little scared of new things, but I'll tell you a wonderful secret. What secret? asked Lori. Barney held his hand above Lori's head to show how tall she was getting. Every day, you get a little bit bigger. That's because you're growing up on the outside. And every time you try something new, it helps you grow up a little on the inside. Barney's right. Really? asked Lori. Really, said Barney with a big dinosaur smile. Sometimes new things are hard to do, like moving away from your farm and friends. But one day at your new home, the sun will pop out. And you will laugh and play with your new friends in Oakdale. Oh, you'll love it. <laughs> Hey, I got an idea, Barney chuckled. Let's use our imagination 
to see how much fun your new home will be. Imagination? What is that? asked Lori. Imagination is pretending. It's make-believe, Barney answered. And it's lots of fun. <laughs> Sometimes I imagine that I can fly like a bird and zoom! Up I go! <laughs> now you try it. Call now you try it, called Barney as he flew by. Lori closed her eyes tight and imagined that she could fly too. Then Barney said the magic words. Shimbori, shimbora, shimbori, shimbora. Zoom. Lori flew up into the air right next to Barney. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> she laughed. What else can we do with imagination? We can do whatever you want. <laughs> Barney chuckled. So Lori imagined that she was spl so Lori imagined she was splashing in the ocean and swimming with a friendly whale. Then she imagined sliding down a beautiful rainbow. Finally, she imagined sitting on the pretty silver moon. See all the wonderful things you can do with imagination? It's fun. Now let's imagine your new home in Oakdale, said Barney. Together, they imagined just as hard as they could. And the night, and suddenly, the night sky filled with magical stardust again. And there, in the middle of the happy swirling colors, Lori saw something wonderful. Barney, I see Mom and Dad at our new house. Look at all the kids playing on the playground. There's my new school. And look at the swings. Maybe I really can be happy there after all. You sure can, Lori. Oh, and look, they're sitting on a magic carpet. How beautiful. <laughs> As Barney and Lori flew back to the porch, Lori asked, Will you be at my new house in Oakdale, Barney? <laughs> sure, I'll be there, Barney said, giving Lori another hug. I'll be wherever you are, because I live in your imagination, and because I love you. <laughs> Yep, it's just like it's just like the theme song says. Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination. Hi, sweetheart. Who are you talking to? Asked Lori's mom as she stepped onto the porch. Oh, mommy, look! Barney is here. Lori said happily, and Barney was there, but he was a small toy again. Just the right size for a little girl to hold tight in her arms. <laughs> That's just like Barney. Every time he's done playing with the kids, he turns back into a stuffed doll. Lori's mom sat, sat in the swing and quietly sang Lori's favorite bedtime song. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? And together, Barney and Lori shared nighttime swings the same way they would share Lori's happy new home. The end. Oh, look, everybody. Here's a note from our friend Barney. Hi, I am Barney, and I want to be your friend. When you and I use our imaginations, we can have fun together. Whenever you need a friend, you can take me along. 
with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Remember that I love you too. Love, Barney. <laughs> I love you too, Barney. We all do. <laughs> well, all of us who are big fans anyway. <laughs> anyway, what would you imagine? Let me know down in the comments below. See you later. Bye.